Okay, guys. So, as some of you may know, that two years ago I bought my own home. Okay? So, I'm going to tell you my personal experience and steps I took to purchase my own. Okay, so the first, 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 save, 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 save. <laughs> All that other is not necessary to buy, okay? It's not. First, save. Second, get you a loan officer. I guess what the, that's what they kind of call them, loan officers, whatever you call them. Um, they can actually help you with your credit, period. Not just to get you a loan. Um... They can help you with your credit, uh, see where you need to be, where you are. You might be perfectly fine. See what you need to do to help your credit out. At the time, my credit needs to be better so I can get a better rate. So what I did, what I was told to do by my loan officer was to get a credit card. And I'm thinking, oh no, I'm not getting no credit. I don't do credit cards. I'm not getting a credit card. But actually... It is a good thing to have if you know what you're doing with it. So I got a credit card and my score shot up like crazy. So in certain circumstances, it is good. Um, next with the loan officer, um, when I got my score where I, uh, we wanted it to be, uh, then she uh, Pulled my credit again, I believe. I think that's how it went. And she told me how much I would, uh, my loan amount would be. Okay. So I got a certain loan amount. And then after that, I've always had a realtor. Let me put that in. I've always ha had a realtor, Karen Green. Um, she, I've had her for like five years. I've literally been looking for her house probably no six years. Let me take that back. Six years, I've probably been looking for a house. Finally found one, and then what I was going to do was look for the house first and then later do the loan thing. But I went on and finally did with my loan officer, got how much I could um, get my loan amount for. And plus, too, if they give you like a loan amount of 400000 but your monthly payment may be a house that's only 250000 do not go for that 400000 do, Don't do that. Because that's just saying, what, no, that don't mean you can afford it. But, um, what I also did was, um, after I found out how much my loan amount was, I went and started searching even more. Because I was ready to get out of the rental property that I was in. So, what I did do is, I found a place. And I found a place that was actually... Uh, building new homes so with this company what you do is the neighborhood that they were in I got to pick my lot uh, I picked my plan first then I got to pick my lot to see if my house can fit on this size lot or whatever so I picked my um, picked the plan I wanted with this company and I picked a lot in this neighborhood that I have and then after that you wait I uh, waited for like from August of, what was it, like 2017? Mm -hmm. August of 2017 to Janu end of January 28th was how long it took to um, build my home from the ground up. So, you can get, um, during that time, you, what's good about building your own time, building your own home that six that six months right there that's more money to put maybe on your down payment or uh just for new stuff in your house or whatever you want to put on your house so that's actually better than just going out here finding a house bam but this gives you a little bit of time, a little bit of flexibility to be able to you know save some more money so that's what ha that's what happened to me and it worked out perfectly fine so uh i did get to save more money um i did actually get to i'll put myself on a very strict budget and like i said i'm gonna make a video of that i put myself on a very very strict type budget i literally did nothing nothing at all i stopped getting my nails done i stopped getting makeup done and if you know me i love my makeup i love my nails i love my eyelashes all that and i completely cut that out because at the end of the day 
who, what are you going to leave your kids? You know, so they have a house that they, you know what I mean? So, but anyways, um, so during that time I did, I limited myself so much and then I did allow myself so much to buy for the house because I was starting completely over because I, what I did was I sold everything. So that money I took and put on new stuff. So it kind of evened that out. So, and you also get to set up an appointment. I don't know with other companies how it works. If you're building, um, you get to go to a, um, what's, what's the, like a model home. You get to go like to their office and it's nothing but a huge, what, what do they call that? The mall, like, where you pick out everything. So with this company, you literally pick out everything. You pick out your lights, you pick out down to your doorknobs, your cabinets, the paint color, the brick, the trim, the all that you get to pick out. So that's what I did, but um, in this video, you're gonna see my process through pictures. I hope you enjoy it. Um, and always, always have extra sight. When you do own your own home, just realize you don't have a landlord anymore to fall back on to, oh, my refrigerator's broke. And your landlord come out or get somebody else fixed, however your contract is. Now it's on you. So make sure you have savings, just a home savings. Like my dad always said, at least have a six months home savings if any emergency so that's my tips of uh buying a home building a home and now you will see my pictures the process so have a good one daisy out so i don't know if i'm ever gonna do a youtube but i really want this for memories but i am building a house and it is up this is my garage, I'm gonna give a little tour. So, you walk in the garage. To your right would be a small little closet. Probably put my vacuum cleaners, all that in there. I have a small half bath in here. Go over here, and this is my laundry room. Okay, and coming from this door, this is my kitchen slash dining room. So my pantry there, the sink will go there. Then a little bar will come out there. You can see that on the floor a little bit. My refrigerator would be here. And right in here would be the stove. This would be where my dining room table would sit. My backyard. And coming into the living room. And it has a little coat closet over here. And a real working fireplace. I cannot wait to make marshmallows. And then here you go up the steps. When you go up the steps to your right, you got a full bath, which will be Leona's bath. And down her room. And then with her closet. Then out from her room is going to be, this right here is going to be actually, I'm going to store all her toys in with some decent looking cubes, containers, and that will be a closet in there. And this is a small bonus room, playroom, theater room that I'm going to do. Not sure how I'm going to do everything yet. And right here is the guest bedroom and that closet. And right here is mama's room. I cannot wait to be in here just chilling. Gosh, I freaking love it. I absolutely love that window too. And then my walk, my bathroom, that'll be my linen closet. Walk in, my sink will be right there. And my water closet, where my toilet will be in there. Bathtub and my walk-in closet. 
Like I said, I don't know if I'm ever gonna post this, but I can't say thank God enough. I never, I guess, ever expected anything like this in my life to be building my own house. I'm telling you, a lot of sweat, tears, prayers, everything went into this. I can't do nothing but thank God for it. And this will be my backyard once they level all that off.